guys, let's see a little bit on the reality Richman equations. And actually, you're going to find out that there are many, many equations of states. And I will, I could explain them, but I don't see the point of explaining them. It's actually just equations based on experimental data. They fit the model, or they do experiments and get an equation that best fit those data. And as you can see, many of them are, I don't know, they include many terms like this volume or specific volume is everywhere. You're going to have also these new constants, A, B, and C. And yeah, essentially it's that. Uh, this uh, Beati Bridgman equation is relatively accurate, or pretty accurate, sorry, up to 80% of that of the critical density. So if you're achieving 80% of the critical density, uh, critical, you're going to start failing. Maybe 85% is not going to be okay, but Anything below, let's say 70% or so, it's going to be pretty accurate. And I don't want you to learn this. Actually, I never learned this. You don't need to. You're going to have always this set of equations. Just want you to let you know that uh, essentially this type of problems is just done uh, mix or confuse equations and don't mix and confuse terms and at all never use, let's say, different uh, values that they're telling you. If they tell you the value is expressed in pascals, please use pascals. If they tell you this value was experimentally calculated in inches of mercury, do that. Because if you don't do that, you're going to have a catastrophe and you will never find your error, okay? So, I told you about the constants. Well, actually you need a constant for every gas. Common substances such as air, helium, hydrogen, etc. Uh, are here reported. We're going to stick with our nitrogen example. And you can see here how A0 and A and so on. Actually, this, I can explain you how they affect the equation. You will see that this is almost no change at all. And the most important part is this one here and this one here. But I think it's nonsense. You could, you will actually just plug in the number and probably you're going to be using a computer or software or so. So you don't need to analyze that. You just plug the numbers, the constant, and find out your final equation. So let me do an example in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.